Seton, are you ready with the latest edition for whose stats would you want? Stats. All I really want is stats. In the morning, tired of stats. Cause the evenings are for girls. So who's with you? Stats, 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 suck it back. Stats, 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 suck it back. Stats, bro. Stats, 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 suck it back. Stats, stats. It'd be nice if we had maybe <laughs> one more. Oh, you. Oh, wait, hold on. I think we have one more right here. Okay. It's the late George Michael. I love it. I love it. Yeah, Paul. I just checked. That was not actually George Michael. Oh, it was not. No, Are that you was sure? A, that was a spoof. I checked. Are okay. You sure? I'm All not 100 percent right. sure. All right. Uh, whose stats would you want? Quarterback one, two and six as a starter, seven touchdowns, seven interceptions. These are Cleveland Browns quarterbacks. Quarterback rating of 79.4. QB two, zero oh, and 15 as a starter, 11 touchdowns, 22 interceptions. QB rating of 60. Whose stats do you want? I'm going to go QB1. Quarterback one is Johnny Manziel's rookie year, his two years with the Cleveland Browns. Yeah. Quarterback two is Deshaun Kaiser's one season with the Cleveland Browns. Yeah. Yeah, I'd take Johnny. Manziel's stats, just stats, not behavior, were not horrendous. Yeah, McLovin. Brian Hoyer was seven and six as a Cleveland Browns quarterback. Is that Hall of Fame worthy? That's a mate. 2014. But do you remember at the time? Did someone were, say pay him or something? Peter King said, pay him the $15 million. And I went, no. Wait, based off what? He did go seven and six with the Browns. That's got to be worth a few mil in the backup quarterback market. He's a backup quarterback, not a $15 million a year guy. The sample size wasn't enough there. And granted, you did it with Cleveland, but that's not enough to give you $15 million. But, uh, you know, Manziel, seven touchdowns, seven picks, wasn't committed. Uh, you know, wanted a party, didn't really know the position from a professional uh, standpoint. There is talent there, but I wonder, you know, you have 12 defenders, you know, when you're playing in the CFL and the field is wi wider. I don't know if that helps him or not, because I don't think he looked as quick, fast as he did in college. When you get to the pros, it has a way of kind of leveling things just to say, you know, let's go back and now you can understand why we're pros and, you know, you were playing against amateurs. Can't run around all day. But, uh, you know, the field is a lot wider and an extra defender there. And it's going to take a while to get used to the timing part of it. And you must be great on first down in the CFL. You have to be. You only have three downs to get 10 yards. And Manziel is, you know, you're going to have to be a 70% passer on first down there. For more Dan Patrick Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV or download the Dan Patrick Show app.